Hi, this time we're going to make a movie about installing software. We are doing two things at the same time. I want to know the words of the name Grub Customizer and I want you to see how you add a PPA to your a list of sources to download from. So two things in one time. Let's first look at our Google at Grub Customizer. What is Grub? Grub is the way you boot your computer. It's the machine that's going to say this is the partition where Linux uh, Mint or Ubuntu is uh, situated. Or any kind of Linux, of course. Well, there are a lot of ways to install software. Here you can download and install. But I particularly like the way that it's uh, the PPAs are working. And further on you uh, can download, for instance, here, how to install. Uh, maybe you're interested uh, to, to go look at uh, uh, pictures to see what I'm talking about. So Grub Customizer is the thing that is going to boot or not boot. So if you have problems with booting, then you have a dual boot for Windows or a dual boot for Linux. Uh, Elementary or Freya and, and another one is Ubuntu and you have problems. That's, that's the neat program you need to have. So this PPA contains the latest version. What you do, you copy paste this and you keep track of all the things by making a folder, putting it online and you create a new document and say okay this is going to be my file to install customizer. Okay, you open it, right click it, paste it. This is the code telling you sudo add the repository from Tanya Richter Grub Customizer to the system so when I have done my update I can install the Grub Customizer. That's what it's saying and if you want to automate it later on not pressing enter all the time you just put a minus or a, a mi minus I think it is Y and then um, you save it one thing to do and that's also already a very interesting thing to know that this you have to make it executable so you go to properties you tell the machine this is not reach write only etc this is also execute so now it can execute as a program so you double click it and now something more comes here in the pop-up you can run it in the terminal and let's do that give my password and it's running PPA has been added. We're in the second line now. We're going to update here. And at the end, when everything is updated, he says, Oh, look, here's my Grub Customizer. And the last line was sudo apt get install Grub Customizer. And what do we have? Grub Customizer. So this is the thing where we're talking about. It is an, um, well, an, an, an administration or um, it can change your system that way that it, it's demanding root privileges and it's true it is uh, very uh, invasive because it's the thing that is it's telling what to boot so you have removed a lot of items as you can see so you can restore them one by one Hello. this was my previous um, group so when you start your, your computer, you have this black screen with lines. These are the lines. If you don't want the memory test, if you don't want it, that, and I don't want this. And have this second SDB, so my second hard drive is also uh, actually a copy of the first one. So I have A and B, and the one is a copy of the other, just by Clonezilla program. And um, if I want to remove it, Recovery mode is of course interesting, if something is not going properly then you can change it here. And then um, next step, predefined, we first start with this one. If it would be a Windows 8 computer dual boot then you can change which one to boot. Do you want the Linux Mint or the Windows 8 Mint? And show the menu or don't show the menu, boot delay entry, make it a bit shorter give me three seconds, four seconds, three seconds and then I should decide or it chooses the first one. Okay. 
never played along with these things I'm not not keen of them I tried some of them years ago maybe it's better right now but I just keep off it just for three seconds I want to choose which system I am going to have and that's it maybe a last thing yeah save and quit of course last thing to do so now he's going to, to write the grub version, a new grub version to my computer. Last thing to tell you is the sources. Because this is a combination of two things. How to install programs, PPAs. And here is my PPA from Daniel Richter Grub Customizer. This, this is the code. What happened to this code? It went here into this little uh, screen which is actually again a file but that's not necessary to know so you can here delete it if you don't want it anymore and of course maybe of course also interesting if you don't want to program anymore Control alt t and you go to sudo apt get remove mm, always interesting but do type it along so if i type tap tap these are the possibilities cu and then you have just this one enter never believe him read what he's going to do he's just going to take this away might be if you remove a program that he's going to remove half of the pc so we have to check uh, is he only going to get this then it's okay then you can remove it of course i don't want to remove it it's a great machine a great program Okay, I hope this clarifies some things and uh, enjoy your Linux.